garage sale did blow up, but we saved this from it. Give a little technical description. This is a piano that his uh, friend Ken Shepard used to work for had and I looked up and there's very little mention about this. This is the ba the Baldwin EP100 and it is a um, uh, acoustic looking, almost acoustic sounding thing they did entirely with divide down technology. This is amazing in that um, they just use this 4024 counter divider chips to generate the tones from a TOS chip and it has transistor arrays along that board, which does the keying stuff, and uh, has some fairly intricate enveloping interaction with the harmonics generated for each note, obviously, with all this uh, stuff down here, because they really made it sound pretty good for that kind of technology. We're uh, looking at late 70s here, I think. Anyway, beautiful. Yeah, it really has a nice uh, character to it, really a very playable instrument, decent feeling, really amazing piece of history, and uh, still useful for a training piano for anybody that might want something lighter than an actual piano. <laughs> to turn it down a little bit. It's overdriving maybe just a little bit too much. There's probably a volume soft control. Pedal. We'll see what that is. Oh, I know the soft pedal will kill the distortion fine, but uh, it's got a button just for headphone defeating the speakers and turning it to headphone. That's the only, only switch on this thing. It is just set, preset, volume and everything. There's no control over anything. Power and headphone switch. And do two pedals. In the backyard, I'm uh, just, uh, I pulled out, I've got the organ on the lawn, of course I need to disassemble that. But I've also put up this thing I'm working on, which is of the same technology, basically, to divide down Kumar Baby Grand with a broken key. And uh, we'll be looking at this next. That one just had a bad divider chip. That uh, 4024 was bad. This one has the bottom side of the board here with, as you can see, I've done these capacitors already that are rusting all over everything. Oh, it is four boards. Bill was right. One, two, three, four, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16. Oh, well, those are smaller boards. 16. How many keys are on this thing? I thought this thing was a 61 key. Let's see, it's, uh, I felt my hand across it. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's six octaves. Okay. Six octave. Uh, I thought it was bigger. It felt bigger. It can't be just 61. <laughs> But anyway, it's got Curtis CEM 3320 filters in it down on that board below the view of what we can currently see. It's on one of those, a couple of those in there. So we'll see a pretty big speaker, what we get out of this one. Uh, I actually had it, work, it had a smash board and I fixed it and got it working except for several notes weren't working and that's why these capacitors that are dropping out so we'll have this thing all up next and uh, do a demo on it and compare the sounds of two divide down pianos that have uh, some interesting qualities there. I don't know if this one is dynamic. I imagine it is. They call it a baby grand, so I'm pretty sure it has dynamics. <laughs>
sweeping through a few of the presets on the ba Krumar Baby Grand here. And um, you can see this thing has Curtis filter chips, three of them. And it's uh, divide down, it has the MOA3 TOS chip there. And uh, does it have two of them or not? A bunch of dividers. It has a detune, so I don't know how they detune if it doesn't have two of them, but is there a subboard there? Might be a board underneath, I think there is. Not sure how they do that. It's got a chorus effect, so maybe it's doing something there. But yeah, what a cool, cool machine. I've had this setting in the shed for many years, and just finally had somebody help me get it out of there, and went through and. Uh, 71 or 72 capacitors needed to be replaced along the bottom that are you can barely see the leads for they're underneath and a key had to be fabricated and uh, it looks pretty good I think we've got it all close enough close enough down analog filtered piano much like what we're looking at over here with this bald one that is the ninth early probably 1978 I'm not sure when they made that thing <clears throat> but uh, similar amount of circuitry and this one just makes one the sound but uh, two of the kind of coolest uh, units of that era in the piano realm they really uh, did an elaborate amount of work to make that one sound like an acoustic piano from just analog divide down technology and this one they went to a lot more extent to give it a tremolo and detune and a bunch of features and different presets in the early 80s obviously with the Curtis chips the CEM 3320 but yeah what's the number on that thing Krumar was Y0641, so maybe they made several hundred of these, I don't know how many they made. You got the top under the cover there. Big enough speaker, huh? What a concept. are rocking out. I found that one up there. Uh, well, that's a big rock. Hmm. Here, we'll put a rock idol inside of here. No, not the rock idol. Oh, okay. Oh, you don't want that there. Not the reese idol, it's the rock idol. <laughs> <laughs> looks, like like a, it. looks like a rock idol if you stand it up. Yeah, and full base. <laughs> Rock idol. <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice round bottom end on it for sure.
Bill, give him a sweep through all the sounds. Just go preset one, two. Okay, I'm just going to sweep through all the sounds because we lost our battery, which was brand new for some reason. <clears throat> preset one, mode one. Just going to give a quick, I'll just do the same thing on every one so you can just hear the difference. the other way I'll stay on six and work backwards. That was noisy. your tremolo. Can be applied and that was all with detune on. Sounds like that without detune on. And you got tone control and filter. Modify any of those with the tone and filter. Big speaker for a for a uh, monitor and a keyboard. That's pretty good size. Yeah, what a unique instrument, huh? So uh, glad to finally get that out and contrast these two uh, great uh, designs in uh, analog piano technology. From here it is with the top setting on. A few scratches there. I gotta do some paint on, or somebody does. They restore it, make it nice and shiny again. It would. Be a beautiful unit. Yep, that is it.